Hi readers, I am so sad that you missed class today on Thursday, um, but just the same if you're trying to do some makeup work that will be just fine and I'm going to give you the details as to what will make you successful. So you're already watching the video clip and that will be over here once I am finished recording and upload it. Um, but this week we've really been focusing on how to read nonfiction books fascinated and earlier this week hopefully you saw me reading my mummy book. Where'd my mummy book go? I just had it mummy book earlier this week and I remember really bringing life to the text and wondering and thinking as we're going wow I never knew that's weird and hmm I wonder why that is and so today what you're going to see is um part of the um PDF document is a graphic organizer and I want you really to have a book tasting and to dive into a whole bunch of different nonfiction books and so you're going to see um in the um document that there is a front and a back to this and I really want you to name the name nonfiction book that you're reading and generate um, responses for each prompt. So something that you never knew, something that you think is kind of weird and strange and why and some questioning as to as you're going choosing to be fascinated. And then lastly I want to know if you're interested in the topic and you might be wondering Miss Garcia Fisher where do I get these nonfiction books? Well I got you. So how you can get these nonfiction books is by going back to materials, going right back to reading log PDF and free reading sources. And I want you to use Macklin because Macklin is a really cool site that is really allowing us to um, really generate and find new books. And so you don't have to turn in anything for this, but what I want to do is just type in really quick for you guys. So when you're finally able to get your log in to Macklin, uh, you're going to see all of these awesome cool books. I love that they have the Amulet series. It's great. It makes my heart so happy. But what I really want us to focus on are the different categories and think about nonfiction. And so if I were looking for a nonfiction book, I would maybe um, think about what topics are interesting to me, thinking back to that survey that we did earlier. And maybe I would start with biographies because I really like learning about people and history. And I think within this, I would go to the genre so that I can actually try and find nonfiction text because um, looking for um, nonfiction just by eyeballing it can be kind of challenging to know um, because some of these books just look really interesting and cool to read. Uh, so I'm going to go to genre right over here and maybe do 20th century maybe. Um, and so I think the easiest way to go about this is go to all resources and what I searched was just nonfiction. And then I was able to put in and see juvenile um, nonfiction. So if I go to all resources and then I go to genre, what I would just type in is nonfiction. And I can see there's quite a bit of options over here um, for juvenile nonfiction. And this one um, looks really, and so I'm kind of just looking and seeing what stands out to me, what looks interesting for nonfiction. And so right over here, this one looks really cool. It talks about Japanese American internment camps. In the United States, we had internment camps going on. We always kind of talk about the Holocaust and that happening elsewhere. Um, but it's really interesting to know that it happened here as well. And so I'm just going to show you an example of what it would look like if I were to open it up. Um, the story, oh, she's so cute, <laughs> look at the apple, um, and this is just one example of finding a nonfiction book. Remember, nonfiction has to do with real life events that took place, um, and so this is like super exciting to dive into, um, but I just wanted to show that this is one way to use Macklin, and also it can be somewhat overwhelming because there are so many options when you're looking at it. And the hard part is, is just knowing the difference in when you're searching. So I would for sure use genre when you're looking and then maybe put nonfiction when you're looking.
for what it is. So maybe historical. Oh, okay, interesting. But yeah, so that is one way for you to complete the assignment for today. And if you have other sources that you prefer to use um, on Schoology, especially when we're looking at the uh, different sources that we have, the whole point is just to find nonfiction books, though. And that can be hard to do. So if you ever have any wonderings, um, when you are trying to figure out if something is nonfiction, you can always stop by for office hours and I will gladly walk you through and make sure that the book that you are reading has um, that it is nonfiction. So when I'm going back to our folder for today, um, you're just going to look at different um, nonfiction books and work on completing the graphic organizer. Don't work on it for more than 30 minutes. So I think 30 minutes is a good rule of thumb. Um, and let's say if you only get one box done in 30 minutes, then maybe we should chat and just check in with each other um, about what happened and why it took so long. Um, but you should be able to complete the graphic organizer in half an hour. And if you have any questions about um, how to use Notability, this video should be up and running um, when um, you're using it. So let me know if you have any questions. And I'm sorry you missed class, but make sure to come to office hours and I can answer your questions. Bye.